Distinguished DMD Alumnus Award for 2015 goes to Dr. Andrea S. Schreiber, DMD 1980. As an esteemed teacher, author, and administrator with a long history of service on multiple boards and committees in the field of oral and maxillofacial surgery, Andrea Schreiber's accomplishments are more than impressive. She is currently Vice Dean for Postgraduate and Graduate Programs and a Clinical Professor of Oral and Maxillofacial Surgery at New York University, where my mother wanted me to go. <laughs> After graduating with a DMD cum laude from the Harvard School of Dental Medicine in 1980, she completed her general practice residency at Columbia Presbyterian Medical Center in New York City and her oral and maxillofacial surgery training at New York University Bellevue Hospital. Dr. Schreiber has authored several book chapters, edited and reviewed prestigious journals, and lectured locally as well as nationally in the fields of anesthesia, preoperative patient management, and critical event analysis. Her service as a diplomat of the American Board of Oral and Maxillofacial Surgery for the past nine years, and as a consultant to the Commission on Dental Accred Accreditation for postdoctoral programs over the past decade, demonstrates her commitment to the profession. She is an inspiration to her students and colleagues alike. Dr. Schreiber, please come forward to accept your award. and thank you everyone for being here. Um, as you can imagine, a lot of thoughts ran through my mind when I heard about this award and I'd like to share two of them. The first is somewhat mathematical. Um, I graduated in 1980 with 16 amazing classmates. So the first thought that ran through my mind was whether or not everybody else already has two of these. <laughs> Um, and I see them looking at each other, <laughs> trying to figure this out. Um, but seriously, the second thought was this. Um, Harvard tends to attract two different kinds of students. Um, the kind that come here and never seem to leave, and case in point. Um, and the kind who leave and never look back. And I'm not either one of those. Because basically, much like gum on the bottom of your shoe on a hot summer day, Harvard has continuously and repeatedly pulled me back. And whether it was in the friendships that I made or the mentors, such as Howard and John Kelly and too many more uh, that are too numerous to mention, um, that I've kept for... 35 years but that's really hard to say um, or the program directors who later trained me or the chairs and the deans at Columbia and at NYU who saw fit to hire me um, that all came out of Harvard so for the last 35 years I've been surrounded by what my husband has dubbed the Harvard Mafia um, a not so clandestine organization that has tracked me my entire professional life. And for that, and for this, I'm very grateful. We will have to send this one to, uh, to um, Dr. Evans. Um, speaking of the Harvard Mafia, um, just 
just one last word. Uh, tomorrow I'm heading out to Los Angeles to be the commencement speaker at um, the U UCLA Dental School. Now talk about, there are more Harvard alumni at the UCLA Dental School than at Harvard. Um, starting with the Dean Noe Park and Earl Freimel and Kang Ting and Issue and Issue, you can go on and on and Ben Wu and uh, it's, it's astounding and in fact um, it's a real honor for me because it's the 50th anniversary of their school. Um, in two years we will have a 150th anniversary but in preparing for that UCLA Dental School was started by Radar Sognis. I'm not sure if any of you in the class of 80 knew Radar Sognis, who was a professor of oral pathology here, uh, and um, went out to the West Coast to start uh, dental schools when the state of California was starting a bunch of uh, public dental schools. Uh, and uh, the school has done very, very well. Uh, there was another person who was asked to come out to California that you'll probably know, Howard Oaks. How many of you knew Howard Oaks? Howard Oaks was my dean of students. And when I was actually looking at Sam Young, we had a reception out in San Diego, you remember? And um, a few years ago, and someone told me the story of Howard Oaks and the University of California, San Diego. Because the University of California, San Diego has a huge pre-dental club uh, run by a fellow named Irv Silverson, a wonderful guy. And I've been out there a few times, and I always wondered why they don't have a dental school. Well, apparently in the late 60s, right before UCLA was established, Howard was invited by a number of medical school classmates who were at UC San Diego to come out there and help them formulate a plan uh, for forming a dental school. Uh, and the alumni told me the following story. Howard flew to Los Angeles, and you remember Howard always had patches on his coat and a little absent-minded, uh, flew to Los Angeles, went to rent a car to go to San Diego. I don't know why he didn't fly to San Diego. And his driver's license had expired. So he never rented a car, he never went to San Diego, and there's no dental school at San Diego. <laughs> they were sure that was the reason. So I will turn it back to Jessica.